Hi, my name is Madhuka and today we will discuss about chip formations in a lathe. But first, some safety precautions. Number one, never be in any casual dress. Always be in a standard workshop clothes, where the oil, grease, anything sticking on the clothes can be washed off easily. And tuck your shirt in. Any loose end can get stuck into the lathe and thus pull you right in. Also, wear your shoes. Okay, now let's get back to the machining. Oh, the most important of all, goggles to protect your eyes. Never forget that. It's a lot yet to be seen in this world. This is your eyes. Okay, now let's get back to machining. Here's Yogesh. He's a mechanical engineer qualified to run a lathe, and he's going to show us how chip formations takes place. When the workpiece is ro rotating and the cutting tool is made to move against it, the plastic deformation and the shearing action causes a part of the workpiece to come out as a chip. Let's have a look, shall we? The portion of material that has been removed from the workpiece is called a chip. Let's take a closer look. When the tool moves against the workpiece that is fed, the material is severely compressed at the area of contact of the cutting edge with the metal. This will tend to high temperature shear or plastic flow depending upon the ductility of the metal. When the compressive force by the tool exceeds the ultimate strength of the metal, the metal particle at the metal tool interface will shear to form a chip. This phenomenon is confined to a narrow zone ahead of the cutting edge and is called the shear zone. These are the chips and since they are small in size, we have used a magnifier. This magnifier magnifies the chip so that the photos can be taken with high resolution. So this is what we get. Here are the photos of different type of chips we got using the magnifier. This is a continuous chip. This chip was observed when a stainless steel was machine using a carbide tool. The cutting speed was in the range of 200 rpm to 250 rpm and the depth of cut and feed very small. Continuous chips can be long, ribbon or serrated depending upon the type of process parameters employed. This is a continuous tightly ribbon type of chip. This is got when the cutting speed is around 220 rpm and depth of cut 0.5 mm. Continuous serrated chips are got when a strain hardened metal is machined at around 220 rpm and 0.25 mm depth of cut. These are the continuous serrated or non-homogeneous type of chip. The color changes are due to the high temperature attained during machine of the mild steel. You can see the serrations now. This is a continuous ribbon type of chip. These are found when my steel was machined at 525 rpm and depth of cut 0.25 mm. When the cut major cutting edge of the tool is aligned parallel to the lateral face of the workpiece during plane turning or at the circular face during facing, we get these type of chips. Although it looks like a continuous serrated chip, it is not. Here the pointed metal extending from the side of the chip is formed when side flow of the chip takes place. These are formed at cutting speeds as high as 800 rpm and a depth of cut ranging from 0.5 to 1 mm. Thus, these are the various chip formations one can come across in machining mild steel. But chips are not only formed in lathes, there are other types of machines where chip formation does take place. For example, the milling machine, the shaping machine, the drilling machine, and the grinding machine. Although no considerable chips are produced in this grinding machine, it's only used to sharpen cutting tools.